Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, we'll look at importing unsupported video formats into iMovie. So this is a pretty common question I get. Somebody buys a video camera and then takes some video and then they try to bring it into iMovie and find that the file format that the camera exports is not compatible with iMovie. So why does this happen and how can you fix it? Well first I would tell everybody that before you buy a camera to go and check the specs and check the reviews online, especially reviews from Mac users about using that camera's video with your Mac. Because if a camera is incompatible with iMovie and there are a few out there that are, usually there are a lot of people talking and complaining about it. So you can avoid this problem by doing some research before purchasing. So why does this happen? Well, QuickTime is the underlying part of Mac OS X that understands how to take dozens or even hundreds of formats of video and display them on your computer or allow you to edit them in iMovie. But it doesn't understand every format. There's some out there that you don't have on your Mac, but you can add them to your Mac so QuickTime can understand them. A common one, for instance, is called MPEG-2. Now this format, you actually have to license. It costs $20. You can get it through Apple and add it directly to QuickTime. That's the easiest way. And you may find it surprising if you bought a camera that requires you to purchase this extra bit of software, which is why you should check beforehand. In other cases, you actually get the software you need with the camera on a CD or perhaps as a download on the website. Now sometimes it isn't obvious that this is what you're getting. For instance, when I first got my flip camera, I didn't want to use the software that came with it, but I didn't realize that by installing it, I also installed a special codec that allowed QuickTime to understand the AVI format produced by the flip camera. So just by installing the software, even though I never used it, suddenly made all that video available to be used in QuickTime and even in iMovie for editing. So what if all that fails? Well now you've got a video file, could be .mp4, could be .avi, all sorts of other formats, and you've got to convert it to something that you can use. So you're going to have to use another program to do that. First thing you may want to try is just opening up the file in QuickTime X. Sometimes some video files will work in the plain QuickTime player and not be able to work in iMovie. In that case, you can open it up in QuickTime player and then save as and use another format. So for instance, you can save it as an iPad format or in this case, maybe an HD 480p format. Try various things, maybe with a small sample file to see what works for you and gets good quality and then you can use it for the rest of your videos and set that as a regular part of your workflow. Another way to do this is use the popular VLC video player and once you've downloaded that you can open up video in it and play it and then you can also go to File, Streaming Export Wizard, set it to Transcode, Save to File, select the file that's open set it to transcode both the video and the audio. Use something like H.264 for the video, MPEG-4 audio, and that's pretty standard QuickTime movie format there. You go to next and you select an MPEG-4 file is how you want it to export, and then where to save it, and it'll save this out. Another program I like is FFmpegX, and you can drag and drop a video into it, uh, set it to export in a standard format like H.264 as an MP4 file, and then hit encode and you can set this as a regular part of your workflow as well. A third great option is MPEG Stream Clip. Basically does the same thing. You can bring the video in and then you can export it in various formats. Set it up how you want it to export. And set all sorts of different options. And then you can even set this as a preset so that uh, you can process all your videos in the future in, with the same settings. So it's unfortunate that some camera owners have to go through this. For most cameras, it's as simple as just moving the file over, dragging it into iMovie, importing it into iMovie, or if it's a tape-driven camera, uh, using the import function iMovie to bring it directly in and digitally convert it using iMovie. It's only a few cameras that need this. So the steps are, uh, number one, Make sure you install any software that comes with the camera to see if you get that codec. If not, check their website, check their support information to see if there's any way you can get it. And if that doesn't work, use one of the three programs I recommended to convert the video to a format that iMovie can use. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.